<laughs> a nigga, yeah, yeah. Trick hey, Trick was a nigga that said he was running that whole setup there. You mad. talking about Street Lord, <laughs> but Trick Trick was on Breakfast Club. I seen him, and he said, you know, you got to check right, in. Man. Niggas ain't finna just come up in here, you know what I'm saying, and Trick Trick don't know about it. Yeah, you got to check it in. So let me know about that. Um, What do you mean? Did the Street Lords have to check in with Trick Trick? The answer would be no. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. So, so let me let's let's move on. Uh, um, when when you uh, think about the gatekeeper, it was one time. Old trick trick was trying to get you got to you you got to check in when you come into town. Okay, y'all still using trick trick as y'all a gatekeeper to let people come in and out the city. Hey, I'm yeah 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 nigga yeah yeah. Trick hey, trick was a nigga that said he was running that whole setup there. You man. talking about street lord? But trick trick was on Breakfast Club. I seen him and he said. You know, you got to check right, in. Man. Niggas ain't finna just come up in here. You know what I'm saying? And Trick Trick don't know about it. Yeah, you got to check it in. So let me know about that. Um, what do you mean? Did the street lawyers have to check in with Trick Trick? The answer would be no. Why yeah, not? I mean, why would we? That's y'all city, though. I mean, that, I was just saying, like, Trick Trick, cool guy, but we ain't had to check in with no Trick Trick. Like, that's not something that ever happened. But, you know... Trick Trick, cool guy. I fuck with Trick Trick. I ain't got nothing negative to say about him, but that ain't something we had to do. Like, what was the check in about? Do you know? I really never thought that was cool, personally. I never got into that. That's not my thing. Like, to say Rick Ross can't come in and perform for whatever reason it was, I thought that was disrespectful to Rick Ross. I ain't agree with it, but I don't know the motive behind it. I don't know what it solved. That's something that could have been prevented and talked about and worked out as men. I don't think the way they did it was the way to handle it. I'm a businessman at the end of the day. That wasn't good business. Because at the end of the day, y'all got to, somebody, Detroit artists got to still go back down to Miami. So y'all ain't, that didn't create a business situation to me. And I'm about having business and getting money. That wasn't a situation where we could have got money to me. I feel you. Good answer. Um, another thing, you know, I heard about you, Ron. You know, I missed a 30, 35,000 selling clothes in three days. I heard that you sold, uh, I want to say $40 million, you and your crew, $40 million worth of weed, uh, chronic. Uh, 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 was it skunk back then? Uh, uh, was it uh, what they call it now? What y'all call it, nigga? You smoke. What y'all call it? No comment. Okay, no, no, hell no. Get the comment Kush, up, nigga. What you want? Kush. Which one, what, what you want? <laughs> well, you know, at any rate, you, you, nigga, you, you, you was the guy that pretty much uh, 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 was one of the guys at, that they say uh, sold this much drugs in 10 months. I, I, now, yeah. now, I don't know who had the calculator. I don't know where y'all hear y'all's at. Yeah. Uh, but I want to get into the details of this. See, because that's what you've been doing. You've been beating around the bush on these other platforms. But I want to understand how they came to the assumption, whether it did or it didn't happen, how did they calculate the amount of drugs that they felt like you and your you and your team, uh, the street large, yeah, he was, was pushing? Um, how did they do that? They stopped the um, 18 wheeler with 4,700 pounds of marijuana in it. 4,700 pounds. And um, the truck driver told him he made X amount of trips. You already been, you already went through your case, yeah, on so you can talk I, about that. Yeah, so okay, so said, the the truck driver has forty seven pounds, forty seven pounds, guys. Forty seven hundred. Oh, forty seven hundred. Okay. Yeah, forty seven hundred pounds. Yeah. And um, so, man, I hate they got you like that, man. Damn, they stopped it from going where it was going. I yeah, I don't want you to think I'm Vlad, nigga, but we can oh, talk oh, about hey, this. Man, I, was, <laughs> I, did, I did my time, man. Right, so, <laughs> so when this happened, how did you feel about it? Like, you like, damn. Uh, when the truck, the truck was late, like two days, and uh, my cousin, he was uh, pressing to go get. He, well, like, you come from the valley? I come from Arizona. Okay. So my cousin, like, he pressing to go get the truck, and I'm like, man, that shit caught, man. Fuck that shit. Uh, he sent 13 guys to go to the truck stop to pick up the weed. FBI come in from everywhere. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot everybody. Two days they was plotting is what you're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and they um, started arresting people and then they indicted people and then we went to jail. Wow. <laughs> so uh, how much would a, would a, 
4,700 pounds run you back then? <laughs> uh, a couple million dollars. I'm getting pounds about $400, 350 So, so 4,700 pounds would be about a couple million dollars. Yeah. And so, man, that's a lot of niggas in the street trying to hustle. Breaking it down. Yeah. Yeah, just, I mean, back then, you know, pounds might have been eleven, twelve hundred. We probably correct. Been, so so y'all drop, y'all just doubling them up. Y'all wouldn't be greedy. Yeah, like little tripling in our money. Then. Yeah. I mean, but was y'all anal about it, or was y'all letting niggas? If nigga couldn't make it, y'all, you know. Man, it was so much money flowing, so it was like everybody was eating. Like I, ain't, um, when we got indicted, it was like billboards in Detroit. Like, man, if y'all think it's a drought. Wait till November, you know what I'm saying? Because we was the only ones we was bringing like a whole bunch of weed into the city. So, so forty seven hundred. I'm still hold on. Hold on. I'm stuck the on the number. The FBI put the billboards up. Yeah, oh. <laughs> forty seven hundred. So let's talk about this forty seven hundred right quick. So they calculate that out to be ten million uh, within. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, how many millions a month? Uh, they had to have a, a two to. So what they charged us with? They just said we moved forty thousand pounds in. X amount of time. But if you do the math at a G a pound, that's $40 million. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.